Okay, so we put up an electric fence, um, like a wire at the top of the fence, um, because um, we lose turkeys because they roost outside. And anyway, over since we've been gone and came back, it wasn't working and everything, and it like drooped down and the the ground wire was hitting the live wire, so it wasn't working. We could hear the machine clicking. So anyway, so we've separated everything. I need to do it again properly, but we don't know how to test it. And there's some tricks you can use, but one trick I've heard of is you get a leaf or a blade of grass and you put it on the live wire and then you hold the earth wire. And apparently, <laughs> apparently it reduces the shock. So this is the ground wire. This is the live wire. So the further along the leaf <laughs> you touch on the wire, the more you get. So I'm just going to put the tip on, just the tip. No. <laughs> See, I'm not, not doing way. it. Not I'm not bad. doing it. No, you shook. It's not that bad. <laughs> oh, I don't. It, <laughs> it gives it, yourself it, a it heart attack. A bit. <laughs> you could do this. If you ever had a heart attack, I would just like rig you up to this. But stop doing it. Okay, so now it's working. I'm getting used to it. I'm getting but used to the it. noise you but made you earlier. Oh, that's weird. Ah. Stop doing it. Ah. Ah. Stop. <laughs> so, the noise you made earlier, though, you didn't do a leaf. Okay, so <laughs> the, the mistake before we, before we hit record. I just put the leaf on thinking it wouldn't matter where on the leaf it would, it would make a difference and I put it right next to my fingers and we nearly, it was another, nearly another snake thing where I had to go and change my underwear and actually, what is here? Your liver, kidneys, my left kidney hurts now, oh, so don't do that. Don't so now that. Natalie's going to try it. No, I'm not. Not a chance. I'm just not stupid. On, just, just a tip. No. Come on, just no. a tip. No. 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 How about a big leaf? No. I'm not doing Bigger it. Bigger leaf than this. No. <laughs> Natalie, think of our viewers. People spend I a don't lot want of time. to. People spend a lot of time. What happens if I have an underlying heart condition? Well, find Did you out. think about that? Yes, <laughs> I'll just, if you do, I'll just hook you up and it's like a heartbeat. It's like basically a pacemaker. That's what this fence is. No, but thank you for fixing the fence, Lawrence, from the turkeys. Don't let everyone down, come on. She's going to do it. We've got a bigger leaf and she's going to try it. Can I use this leaf? <laughs> <laughs> this is a much bigger leaf than the one you've given me. <laughs> I wonder if that will work. The camera, so. <laughs> oh, Oh, that's worse. Okay, Don't let's not that. use that. <laughs> Still doing it though. It's not that. Yeah, don't use that one. Okay. The little one's better. Bye. Remember, Natalie. But just the tip. <laughs> Can I not touch it? Even that hurts. No. Why would I touch the ground? I don't need to touch the ground. My feet are on the ground, right? Try it. It won't work. Because your shoes. I can feel it even if I just do that. Really? Yeah. Let me try. I wonder if this will make the phone go funny. No, I can't. Oh, I can, on my thumb. Yeah, see? So does that count? We'll see. <laughs> right, write in the comments if that counts, and if it doesn't, then you have to do it again next week. Okay, sounds fun. So today marks a mo oh my god. Stop. That was actually Lawrence that texted me. Ooh, nice. Okay, go away. Today marks an important day in the history of 2020. Um, I'm going to our first event. We're going to a dock diving event, which is where dogs jump off docks into water or jetties into water. It's really fun and interesting to watch it's very very cool um so i figured i'd bring you along to come and see it i'm taking jacks just to go and have a walk around it is the hottest day of the year so that was stupid i think it's going to reach highs of 100 fahrenheit and 40 
Celsius today. So that's that's not going to be fun. Hopefully the camera equipment will still work. Um, but yeah, I mean, since lockdown, we haven't been able to do anything. So this will be the first event that we're going to where it's outdoors and actually happening. So I'm very excited and uh, I hope that you will also enjoy the footage if I get any cool stuff. Maggie Malik's vineyard in Percival. We are come to watch the dock diving event with doggies. At the moment, there's a bit of a break, so me and Kelsey are swimming our own dogs down here. Well, Kelsey's attempting, and <laughs> and just letting them cool down. So yeah, it's really really nice place here. Um, I don't know how many acres. I'll go check that out for you, but I do know they make a mean sangria. Okay, you ready? Good boy! Kelsey's great information oh, yes. segment. <laughs> okay, I'm rolling. So I just told Natalie, but dragonflies are the ones that have their wings out straight, and damselflies are the ones that have their wings, like say their back is on panda. They have their wings like that. There you go. Some new information for us. <laughs> dock jumping or dock diving is a sport in which dogs are measured on the either the distance that they go or the height. I think today's one that we're watching, you can hear him yelling away, is on the distance. So they get awarded, I don't know, I think sometimes they do get money or rosettes and fun stuff. Um, but yeah, it's just a dog sport basically. <laughs> So, I just got the phone call from the post office and my chicks are here. Um, Lawrence is still in bed, so um, let's go get them. I'm reading mixed reviews as to whether you're allowed to video inside a USPS because it's a government building. Um, so it's not that exciting anyway, they just hand me a box and they come back out. Um, but I'll take you up to the door. Day. Oh, he was really sweet. So you can hear him chirping away. So hopefully, hopefully they've all made it. I give you a little sneak peek because it's not too difficult to disrupt them. Your babies. Oh, look healthy. We're going home. <laughs> so, Natalie sneaked out this morning and she only does that for something that I'm not going to be happy about. 
so I think I know what it is, but which is why I'm videoing. So, <sighs> ready? Where did you go? Why are you awake? What do you mean, why am I awake? It's daytime. It's nine o'clock, it's the middle of the night for you. Oh, well, you know. I can hear what you've done already. <laughs> no. It's just a box that's very squeaky. <laughs> it looks like it's wearing a little hat. I know, guys, you're a bit cold. Look at you in your new house. That's a black Polish. Not sure. Encrusted. I have no idea what these are. They're very pretty. Ow. There's three of them, whatever they are. Three buff laced Polish. They haven't got fuzzy heads. You know, another black giant. Black giant. Not sure. Stupid little Polish. Stupid little Polish. What are these? Two golden penciled. Hamburgs. Oh, hello. Uh, black giant. Hamburg. So excuse the messy background. We are still cleaning out our garage because we had a bit of a mouse problem when we came home. Um, but they are all in and set up. Um, I'll try and get some footage of them for you. They all look good. We had one that didn't make it, but it's the downside of shipping. Um, so you can buy chicks locally from pets, not pet stores, farm, farm feed stores. However, they typically have um, just general layers. They don't have anything interesting or rare. So if you want something a little more excited, you have to order from a hatchery. There's various ones, but we used McMurray. I think it was, I don't know if it's McMurray or just Murray hatchery this time. We've used Maya and um, I can't remember the other one in the past and um, they've always been quite good. The last few days one of our turkeys hasn't come back and we've been frantically looking for her. This morning my husband, well, Lawrence, um, said that um, he spotted her in the front field. So I've been looking all around the front field and there was nothing. But the, we did have a storm, so let me turn this around and you can see um, that the grass has fallen over. There you go, it's all fallen over. So it's a little easier to spot if she was here. However, just come around this side. Let's see if you can see this. Probably not. Let me flick you around, hold on. Just see you there. Hello. We've been looking for you. Oh, she's angry. Why hissing? Did you get stormed on? Can I see how many eggs you have? Let's see if we can do this without getting bit. Okay, that's quite a lot. Ow! Yeah, all right. Well, sweetie, I don't even know if they're fertile. Okay, I just kind of checked one. Didn't look fertile. I'm gonna have to move you, sweetie. I, I know, I know, I know. I'm so sorry. Oh, come on. Please don't bite me. She's so mad. Um, 
going back to normal. Don't hiss at me. You're not very well covered here is my main concern, sweetie. Come on. Come on, don't you dare. I just don't think this is a good Operation move the turkey. I think that her eggs are actually fertile, which is very odd. This is still not going to be easy. Okay, I got her. Ooh, ooh. They are to record and hold. Hey, Mama. Okay, I'm going to put her in Lawrence's shed so that it doesn't stink up my shed. And hopefully, if I can get the nest built quick enough. She'll just go and settle down on her eggs. But we'll see. I'll keep you updated. See, that one is full of something. But whether it's just a bad egg, it's not quite dark enough to see yet. Again, it's full. I don't see any movement though. Might just be a bad egg. I have to do this when it's dark. Seriously, this wasn't quite what I was expecting. I, that's dangerous, isn't it? Look, your nest is in that corner, okay? So we need to be going that way. I'd probably get off the table saw, sweetie. Yeah, I know. Go on, go see your eggs. I didn't quite think this through. So I have to block her in. I think she stood on two of them and broke them. 